So, I'm selling my 240SX. This car has been the staple for me and my channel. But as I'm finding out, I have a lot of money tied up in a lot of separate things. So, I'm having to sell it in order to get into a new project car, which I'm wanting to. And the good thing is, is I'm not talking about this car. I'm talking about this car. So this is my mint condition S13 with only 73,000 miles on it and only one owner. Well, maybe two now because I mean. The reason why I wanted to sell this car is because it's more of an investment piece. It's not really a project car that I can kind of put work and time and money into. It kind of just sits and I, and I don't get to drive it. So I want to sell it so I can actually do more stuff and have more fun with the cars that I own. But before I can sell it, I have to fix the issues it has. So all we have to do is bring the 240 in the shop and start working on it. A month after I bought this car, when I was in California, I was driving the car home from my girlfriend's house, and I heard something. I looked out of the car, uh, and I saw the tire had a bubble in it. It's like bubble is ripping through right here on the tire. Sooner or later, that bubble got bigger and bigger, and the tire exploded. <laughs> When the tire exploded, it completely damaged the side of the car. This whole indent piece is like the size of a basketball. Actually, he has one. Dude, it's huge. Like, it's as big as my hand. And what's crazy is the tire wrapped around and got everything. There's a dent here that you could see. There's a dent here. And all of that stuff is very, very hard to fix. So in order to fix that dent, we need to come in here. There's an access panel where we can kind of go in and maybe work on the dent from the inside of the car. And we have access from the outside. So we made the basketball vacuum tight. <coughs> Ooh, we might want to take this light out. Okay, so we got the light out of the way, and I'm going to squeeze it past this jack holder. Time to shove it on in. So we're going to sneak it past all the while, making sure we keep the needle. What's funny is we actually probably could fill it through there. Keep trying to shove it in. He's bouncing off my booty cheeks out. Is it in? Okay, so it's in there. Just go slow, okay? Because we don't want to expand this part. We don't want that to expand. Should we add heat? Oh, yeah. Shoot. Yeah. I see it moving right here. It's starting to happen. Damn. I think it's pushing this area here. While you're working on this, I should go on the inside and try to see if I could take that panel off and access that one. All right. So we're gonna put that up and we're gonna have to take this off to access the dent right here. It sounds like there's a hole in it. Did it just pop it Oh my God, it popped because of the, the little. those bolts on it. Yeah. yeah, let's use this horrible ass one. Yeah, oh. baby. All right, well, I'm gonna pull that panel off in there. Okay, I've got the seat off, and all I have to do is take out a bolt here, which I already did, and then this whole thing should be able to just come right off. Well, here, we got we got access. What the hell? What the f***? Is that pen? Hold on, wait. That can't be real. You put that there, didn't you? No way, dude. <laughs> Shut the Find his keepers. <laughs> I gotta go. What was cool about opening up this panel, we realized that we're able not only to reach this one, but we're able to reach this one way over here. These two should be a lot easier than we thought, but this one over here has been trouble. As you can see, the whole body is bowed out like this because the basketball is not pushing down on the dent, it's pushing out on the car. You might need to go buy like a smaller basketball. Um, so we went to the store and grabbed a smaller ball and some glue sticks to help with the dents. And while we were using the football for attempt number three, this happened. It's, all, it's almost out of the way. Holy sh! It got too hot. <laughs> oh my god, that scared the sh out of me. I think we reached its uh, ability to. <laughs> Holy! Well, oh, that's just basically a freaking balloon. Damn, that was almost out too. Yeah. And after our second attempt with the football. Damn! Why does he keep exploding? <laughs> now we've moved on over here to the glue stick method. So the theory is, is that basically you can stick all these glue sticks on, melt the tips of them, then they melt to your car and you can pull the dent out. All right, so when we came back and we looked at the glue sticks, they just literally fell off. Like, these did not work. So we ordered a dent pulling kit off Amazon and it's about to arrive shortly and we can pull out these dents. Package came in. We attach the thing, then we yank it, and then we scrape the glue off. So as this paintless dent removal kit is our last hope, if this doesn't work, we're gonna have to take it to a shop to do it professionally. It's time to try this thing out. Have you done this before? This, absolutely not. Oh, okay, good. This is for it lightly. I don't do That's anything okay. lightly. Strength is unmatched. So right when we took that piece off the car, it ripped the paint off. And even though it's an at-home DIY paintless dent removal kit, it still ruined the car. And the same reason that I'm gonna be getting my car taken care of by professional is the same reason why you take your mental health serious and you get it taken care of by professional too. So I'm gonna call some shops, get some quotes, and show you how you could take care of your mental health professionally. All right, so we're gonna call our first body shop and see what they say. 
Hey there, how you doing? I'm actually trying to fix the 240 and it's got like a couple dents on it. It's on the rear quarter panel. Do you know if like you could give me some sort of quote for that or what that looks like? Uh, give me one second. Well, while I'm on hold, regardless, if you have a clinical mental health issue with anxiety or depression, or you're just a regular human going through a hard time, therapy can give you the tools to approach your life in a very different way. Hey, hey, how you doing? Doing good, just try and get a rough quote. I've got a 240 and it's got like some dents from uh, the quarter panel, uh, tire blew up and it kind of dented the rear quarter. Do you know what it'd be like just for like maybe respraying the area and some Bondo for some small dents? Uh, but just couple thousand, okay. Well, even though that wasn't a very exciting quote, I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible for everyone. And this is an important mission because finding a therapist can be really hard, especially when you have limited options in your area. But at least for me, I can call a couple more body shops and probably get a couple more estimates. BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist easier because it's online. It's remote and by filling out a few questions online, BetterHelp can match you with a professional therapist in a few days. And I can vouch for this because I've done it myself, but I don't know how to do paintless debt removal, so don't do that yourself. I'm gonna call one more person. Got a buddy that does some body work, and I think he might be able to take it on. Hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing? I have the red 240, right? It's got a couple dents in it. I think it's a basketball-sized dent on the rear quarter panel. Is that something you sound like you can take on? Yeah, man, of course. Hell yeah. When do you think you can take care of this? As soon as you're ready to bring it by. Really? Yeah. Damn, he's able to take that on right now. Holy crap. Yo, shout out to Slicks Labs in Tyler, Texas. He's gonna make this happen. As easy as it was for me to make that phone call and make that happen, it's just as easy to get a therapist online and get matched today. So go to the link in the description. That's betterhelp.com slash Corey Funk. So now that we know Richard from Slicks Labs can take on this project, we're gonna grab the car and take it over there. Clicking that link also helps support this channel, but it also gets you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp and it can get you, oh, <laughs> so they can get you connected with your therapist and you can see if BetterHelp helps you. And thank you so much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's video. I've supported you and I've used BetterHelp myself. So I consider it to be a great platform for you guys to try too. And that's from the bottom of my heart. All right, buddy, take care of her. I know you're gonna do a good job. Hell yeah. All right, take care, man. I'm excited to see you. Damn, bro. <laughs> all right, cool. All right, so the car has been dropped off at Richard's for some time now, and he's done some work on it. All right, so this is that black decal that I was talking about. We're actually gonna try to save this. It's time to make a mess. I've got my angle grinder here, and I've got to clean all of this up the bare metal so I can use the, uh, the stud tool to pull these areas out where it's caved in real bad. <laughs> It's a fiberglass filler on this area. So let's move down here and uh, take care of this spot. Before we see the car, we're here to pick up some paint for him because he's helping us with, you know, the body work that we picked up the paint. Um, we've got some, a lot of special things in here. We're actually uh, uh, gonna go check up on the car right now and uh, see how it looks. Got a paint delivery! So this is crazy. How much time have you spent on this so far? Probably at least four or five hours. Okay, so all this is gonna be sand and flat and then you're gonna paint it? Yep, yeah, I gotta oh, prime yeah. it, uh, check for any pinholes and, yeah. um, and clean it up real nice. Uh, mat finish masking it, get over into the paint booth, jacked up again, uh, pull this uh, wheel back off and then yeah, we're ready to paint at that point. <laughs> Damn, this is a way bigger project than I ever thought it was gonna be. Don't worry, it's gonna look brand new, and if it does, you can come to Slick Slabs. <laughs> All right, so the body work is finally done on the 240. Right now I'm gonna clean up the mess, get it back down on the tire, and get it moved over uh, by the paint booth. I'm gonna clean it up, blow it off, get it masked up, prime it, and it's spray time. Okay, so the 240 is now finished. We were on our way to go pick it up. I've been waiting, you know, only a couple days now. Richard got it done pretty quickly, so now we get to see the final progress. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. I was like, it's right there. Damn, bro. You can't even tell. 
Oh my god. Holy crap, bro. You could only tell just off the fact that I know. Yeah, exactly. yeah. But no, this looks amazing. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is so crazy. Even the body line here too, because I know that this didn't line up. Yeah, you really did a great job. Oh my gosh. Hell yeah. Slick slaps for the win, bro. Hell yeah. It looks brand new. Like you can't even tell anything has been done in this car. Like it wasn't even damaged at all. So now that Richard did an amazing job cleaning this thing up and making it look brand new again, it's time to clean this thing up and get it ready to be put up for sale. Just let the man breathe and just hush so my mind could just see so my mind don't erupt. What the f Is it on? Yeah, that's all the beans. <laughs> Make sure it looks nice and pretty for the next owner. Selling this car is gonna make my next build possible. I've been looking for a couple months now for my next build and uh, I think I found something pretty promising. It's taken me a while to get here for sure. Once I get this thing posted, I could definitely start showing you some more. Yeah, this car is way too pretty to do anything with. Everything is done. No, I'm not done yet. <laughs> oh man, it's just looking pretty. Now that the outside is clean, now it's time to put the inside back together. <laughs> Honestly, it's a sad day having to sell this thing, but it's exciting at the same time. I also bought that thing at a time where I had almost nothing. I guess that sounds stupid to say. I didn't have a house. I didn't have a place to go do all my fun stuff at. I guess what sucks is, is that was originally like the only daily car that I had and I bought it so I could daily it. But then it became an investment piece and then now it became a burden where it stopped me from getting to where I wanted to be. So now I have to grab these pieces that we originally took out and we have to put them back in. It's crazy, it's just plastic, but it's so meaningful and expensive to someone else. No ducks, back up guys, no. It's freaking ducks, bro. I don't know why I bought ducks, but I did. Hi guys, you good? All right, I'll see you later. That looks really nice. Good job. Yeah. Here, you're in yourself an egg. Oh, uh, it probably is. Yeah, and I don't know if I showed you guys this, but I actually have a picture with me and the original owner. Beautiful. She has a beautiful car. It is. It's a beautiful car. I've never really signed as an owner for this car because I never registered it in my name, and I still have the title unsigned. Basically, I'm not really an owner, and so this car is still a one-owner car, but this is pretty cool. I know it's in good hands. Yeah. Definitely. I really miss builds, you know? Me doing this process is like really fun if it was like something where I could be building it and like doing cooler things to it. But right now it's like not being able to build a car and have a progression with it is just really like not as fulfilling as just having a cool car that you can't really use at all. Also, when I was building my, my, my GTR, like I literally got to do so many cool things with it. I got to put a downpipe, injectors, make it shoot flames, wrap it wheels on it, like literally do everything. But I want something a little more than that. Something like it was with my, with my 240. It's been like five years since I've had something to actually build now. And once I sell this thing, it's time for us to kind of renew that and, and get back into that. I'm literally just re-piecing the car back together. I really haven't done much. If I don't put this in right, and someone sitting back here in a car accident has happened, it could be definitely not on me. Three teens were rushed to the hospital Sunday evening after this car flew off Mountain View Road in Crest. There it goes. Look at that. Damn, this thing is so pretty. Clean looking professional background. So we're gonna take our first photo. Bam, now I'm gonna move the car. All right, cool. So what we'll do now is a photo with the headlights up now. Now that I've gotten my photos taken professionally, I'm gonna be posting them online so people can see that I'm taking this serious. I'm trying to sell this to, you know, the highest bidder, the person that will take the most for this car because of how, you know, good the condition is. I'm gonna be putting it inside of the garage and I'm gonna be finding my next car right after I post it. So I'm gonna be creating the new listing now for the 240SX. Here I go. I have been looking on Copart for a while now for my next build, but in the next video, you will see my brand new car added to my fleet. My channel for a long time has only just been like, oh, the other things I don't do on Funk Bros. But right now, I'm really taking over the Funk Bros channel and doing everything I wanna do on there. And those are the big builds, the ones here at the house. I wanna do videos that either have to do with cars, pushing myself, or really, really like challenges with cars or with other people in cars and with other stuff regarding car stuff. Like I wanna be doing a lot more car content. So this is allowing me to jump right into that and making my part series for building this new 
vehicle, this sports car, this, this, this whole new adventure of me being able to jump into this. And that's super exciting for me as I get to share with you so much more that I wanna share and so much more that I actually wanna do than just all this other stuff that I don't really care so much about. A lot of my older content felt like filler and now this is feeling like what I genuinely want to post and what I genuinely feel excited to do instead of just doing it for the videos. And so I'm really excited. Um, and I know I've said that a lot, but sharing that last part was really a really good call. Please believe that in. The hint that I'm gonna leave you all with, the car that I bought has a V8 in it. Bye. Oh, also, by the time you watch it, the 240 might be sold, so. But you can check it out on Facebook Marketplace in Texas.